So maintaining your offense is a skill that you have to build up. Probably the most important aspect of building up your offense is being able to react to your jumping normals hitting. I recommend everyone does this drill. Just set the dummy to crouch random guard and turn recovery on. Your goal is to do a hop CD and do a hop CD and run. Whether it hits or is guarded, run. You're entering hop CD run regardless. If it hits, you're running towards them as you knock them down. Time another hop CD. So you get to do it again. This just loops. If you're familiar with Street Fighter V and you're thinking, and you've maybe heard the phrase, take the throw, hop CD is similar. If it hits, you just get to do it again. When it is guarded, do a practiced mix-up. So I would say most people starting out don't know how to use a hop CD to establish pressure. It'll hit, but then this will happen and they'll go, oh, what do I do? And then they're far away. <laughs> or it'll get guarded. And it'll be like, oh, what do I do? Well, you were like plus 20, but you just sat, stood there and you didn't recognize the situation. So, I mean, not necessarily plus 20, but you're going to be somewhere in like the plus 10 to plus 15 range generally if your CD is working low. Is CD good in the air? For some characters, it's really good. For some characters, it's okay. Uh, remember, you have five jumping buttons. You have your two jump lights, your two jump heavies, and then your jump blowback. This jump CD, the jumping bully bopper, as I like to call it. You gotta bop the bullies. Some jump CDs have this nice 40, 60 degree angle on it. Some have like a 45 degree angle. Some are more horizontal. So you have to judge it like you judge your other jumping normals. But importantly, the jumping CD is not an overhead, but it does a little bit more block stun than your jumping heavies. And because this will make a really good video, I'm gonna add a little bit more. This will be a good like highlight to add to the, to the thing. Just like a basic offensive drill. Learning how to do hop CD and reacting to the guard into a mix up or the hit. And the hit, and the hit, and the hit. <laughs> the hit into the chase, right? So you can actually level this up quite a bit. I'll give you two common options. And you actually want to set the dummy to respond to a guard. So now if the dummy gets hit, they'll quick rise and you do the same thing. But if the dummy blocks the hop CD, they'll do a jab or they'll go for a throw, which will be a back heavy. We can just start with just the jab for now, but you want to try. You want to try hitting that jab. So now, not only are you practicing chasing if it hits, but you're also practicing hitting the mash if it is guarded. 
using the frame advantage from the hop CD. That was too early. That was just a hair too late. My light, my heavy and his light hit on the same frame and we traded. For most characters, if they hit a crouching light, it'll come out in four, maybe five frames. But if we say four, right, what that actually means is you can hit the first three frames of this jab. But if you hit the fourth frame of this jab, you'll trade. So effectively, when this situation happens and they guard and they do a jab like that, you have a three frame window to do an effective frame trap. That's the math. The startup of the mash minus one is the window that you have to land an effective frame trap there. Oh, one, I was just a hair too late. I missed the three frame window by one frame and we traded. Woo. So the second option we had was the throw. So you can beat the low jab, and you can beat the throw, if you're good. But, as you can see, if you try to run after the CD, if you run after the CD, and you're too close, you can get thrown. Sometimes you're expecting the throw, and then the jab comes out. But your basic goal is to try and hit that same three-frame window of hitting the jab, but be a hair away. Too close. It can be helpful to space your hop CD so it's near the tip. That way you can still run, but you don't run too close. If they're in the corner, no run is needed anymore and you can just walk. Also notice if you're really, really close to them and you hop CD and they guard it, notice you automatically get pushed back a little bit. Watch this. You automatically get pushed back a tiny bit. So even if you neutral hop CD them up against their face in the corner, if they guard it, you're now out of throw range and can do your effective mix-up frame trap against their jab and their back heavy without needing to move. So this is the full drill. Just to summarize, set the dummy to crouch, random guard, make sure recovery is on. And you wanna have two reversal guard options where one is a reversal jab and one is a reversal back heavy for throw. And this is how you lab basic offense off of a hop CD. Where you're trying to hit those buttons and if the jump CD hits, follow it in. drop that combo. Let's do it the right way. Finish. So all of these things together make your block top CDs mix-ups make your hit hop CDs, screen real estate, and pressure, if you combine all these things together. And then you move on to the next layer where your opponent goes, oh no, you know how to frame trap me, I'm gonna guard more. And then you can start doing like, rehops. <laughs> but that's the next layer, and that's not really needed. What most lower level and even a bunch of intermediate players need to do is to turn a hop CD into a real mix up. 
need to be able to turn a blocked hop CD into a real mix-up where they can't mash, and a hit hop CD into the positioning. Ah. So yeah, that's that lesson. Cut. That's 431. All right.